다음 에피소드를 시작하기 전에 우리가 한 가지 좀 살펴보겠습니다. 그 뭐냐니까 레이쇼와 프렉션의 차이점을 구별하는 겁니다. 레이쇼 레이쇼라고 하는 것은 어떤 비율이죠. 그리고 프렉션은 분수입니다. 비율과 분수의 차이점은 뭘까요? 1대2의 비율 2분의 1이라고 하는 분수로 표현될 수 있잖아요. 그럼에도 불구하고 레이쇼와 프렉션은 본질적으로 서로 다른 개념입니다. 두 개념이 어떻게 다른지 한번 이 영상을 통해서 살펴보도록 하겠습니다. Tell the difference between a fraction and a ratio. For instance, if you have 1 over 2, How do you know whether or not it means the fraction diagram one half or the ratio one to two? In this lesson, you will learn the differences between fractions and ratios by examining the definition of each using diagrams. Let's review. What is a fraction and what is a ratio? A ratio is a comparison between two or more quantities that are related. A fraction, on the other hand, expresses a number that is part of a whole. Since we're going to focus on the definitions today, let's make a note of the idea that a ratio is a comparison while a fraction expresses a number. So a common mistake is to see this 1 over 2 and say, okay, that's the fraction 1 half. Or someone else may say, no, that's the ratio 1 to 2. And you might think, because you can each see it as a fraction or a ratio, that fractions and ratios just must be the same thing. And while some ratios are fractions, not all ratios are. In fact, what type of ratio do you think cannot be a fraction? Let's keep looking at that fraction one half. We know it is one out of two parts. We can represent it with a rectangular diagram, one half. Now, I asked you before what type of ratio can never be the same as a fraction. And you may have come up with the idea that a part-to-part -part ratio could never be a fraction because it doesn't compare anything to a total. When you see a part-to-part -part ratio, 1 to 2, it means something like, for every one girl, there are two boys. When we diagram this out, we have one girl, two boys. All together, clearly we have three total. This part-to-part -part ratio, 1 to 2, is not the same thing as the fraction 1 out of 2. What type of ratio do you think can sometimes mean the same thing as a fraction? If we take that fraction idea and we look at a part-to-total ratio, we're on the right track. Because a part-to-total ratio, 1 out of every 2, could mean something like there is one boy out of every two students. And when we diagram this, we have one boy, maybe one girl to make that other two students. We have two total and only one of them is a boy. And you may be thinking, okay, wait, those look exactly the same to me. Fractions and part to total ratios must always be the same. But to understand really the difference between a ratio and a fraction in this instance, we have to look at the definition. That idea of a ratio being a comparison and a fraction being a numerical quantity. So if we look at that fraction 1 half, we know we can graph it on a number line. 1 half is going to be directly in the middle of 0 and 1. We can represent it as a point, and we know that 1 half is taking up that space from 0 to the middle. It's 1 half of the total space we have. And that point is going to be the same whether we call it 1 out of 2, 2 out of 4, 
or 4 out of 8. Those are all equivalent fractions, and they all reduce down to 1 half, because a fraction is always a set numerical quantity. The difference between a fraction and a part-to-total ratio is that if you have a part-to-total ratio 1 out of every 2, it can mean one boy out of every two students. But when you start to look at equivalent ratios, you'll notice that one out of two can become two out of four, can become four out of eight. And the total amount is changing. So in a part to total ratio, we see that it's a set relationship pattern, not a quantity that is unchanging on a numerical line like the fraction. So in summary, a part-to-part -part ratio, that first example, is never a fraction. But our second example, a part-to-total ratio, can be a fraction. And to figure out whether it is or it isn't, we have to look back at the context of the scenario. That's going to let us know whether or not we're dealing with a numerical pattern, a numerical quantity, sorry, or a relationship pattern. In this lesson, you explore the difference between fractions and ratios by examining the definition of each using diagrams. 잘 보셨나요? 상당히 재미있죠? How do you tell the difference? 여기는 어, 너무 키웠군요. 여기가 런칠리언이라고 하는 곳이죠. 어, 메소와 그리고 잉글리시 랭귀지 아트에서 영문학입니다. 어, 두 가지 주제를 다루고 있는 사이트인데 상당히 재밌는 사이트니까 어, 기회가 될때 들어오셔서 여기 있는 것들을 한 편씩 보시기 바랍니다. 사실 우리 수업 내용에 이게 다 포함되어 있습니다.